Hey YouTube, Chrissy G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. It is a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter if it's storming outside. It is a beautiful day. Why? Because it's my birthday. Woo! <laughs> I am so excited to see another year of life because let me tell you, this past year has not been easy, but God has been faithful, okay? So I just wanted to record a video message to talk about what I've learned in the past year and what I am excited for in this new year, year 36 of my life because God has been good. No matter the tests, no matter the trials, no matter the storms, God is still good. And there is a light that shines in me and through me. And I am grateful for the perspective that I have. I'm grateful for um, the trials and tribulations, to be honest. And a lot of people will be like, what? You're happy about the struggles? I am happy about the struggles. Why? because I learned something from them, because the struggles and the trials and the tribulations and the storms, all of the things that I've had to go through in my life, in my 35 years have made me who I am today. I am stronger. I am wiser. I am better equipped. <laughs> and I have a sort of perspective that a lot of people don't have because of what I've been through and what I've seen God do in my life as a result of what I've been through, right? And so a lot of people think that, you know, you want miracles and you want to see the manifestation of miracles, but there's a lot you have to go through in order to see that miracle. Because believe it or not, a lot of people who are craving miracles and looking for miracles are those who are desperate for them, are those who are in desperate, dire situations where they're like, God, I need a miracle. And I have been there, ladies and gentlemen. So it is amazing for me to have made it this far in my life and to be able to say that I am the manifestation of miracles in real life. If you want to know what a miracle looks like, right here. Okay. God has done great things for me. And so I am grateful and I am thankful and I am excited and I am embracing this new year and meeting it with great expectations. I expect God to do amazing things. I expect myself to accomplish things and to grow and to become better and to become wiser. Um, and I had a talk with God this morning about that. Like, God, I want to be better. I'm, I don't want to be stagnant with you. And I want to, I don't want to be complacent with you. I want to be a better wife, a better mother, daughter, sister, friend, whatever have you. Like I want to be better than I was in this last year. I want to be more intentional about my relationships with people around me and with God, most importantly, with God. I want to be more intentional about seeking him and about spending even more intimate time with him so that I can truly glean from him and be filled by him. So that when you see me, you really see God, right? You see the manifestation and you see the glory of God on my life. That is my hope. That is my dream. That is my wish. That is my prayer. <laughs> and so before I go, so I can continue to enjoy my day. <laughs> I wanted to impart one thing that I've learned in the past year, and that is simply one word, push, push. And I say this because a lot of the time when we find ourselves in places of disappointment, in places of stagnation, in places of anxiety, depression, whatever have you, especially this year, it's hard to do just that. Push. Push through. To push through the pain, to push through your fears, to push through the naysayers, to push through your own mental blockage and the things that you speak against yourself, to simply push and not allow yourself to be stuck where you are. Don't allow yourself to become stagnant. Don't allow yourself to become frozen in fear. Don't allow the enemy to trick you into believing that this is it. Your story does not end here. The next chapter of your story is being written by God. And it is beautiful. So I want you to push. I want you to, for a second, forget the trials and the tribulations. Forget the hurdles that you had to walk through. Forget the obstacles that you had to plow through. Forget the people who have hurt you. Forget the things that you've done to yourself that you're finding it difficult to forgive. I want you to let those things go and push. 
push. Because what's coming is much greater than what has been. And God has not forsaken you. And God has not left you. And God is still there imparting wisdom and knowledge and strength and covering with his love and letting you know that you can do this. You will make it through this. And I have something better for you on the other side, but I need you to push. Push. Push through it. I know it seems thick and I know it seems heavy and I know it seems burdensome and I know it seems difficult right now, but I need you to push because there is another side to this. So I don't want you to get stuck at this roadblock. I don't want you to think that you can't go any further than this because you can and you will. You just need to push. And so that is what I want to say today. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. I just wanted to encourage someone today who is thinking of giving up, who is thinking of throwing in the towel, who is thinking they aren't good enough, who is thinking God has forsaken them, who is thinking that they are not worthy to be loved, who is thinking that they aren't worthy to be forgiven. You are. You are so loved and you are forgiven. God's grace is sufficient for you and God's strength is made perfect in your moments of weakness. So I need you to push. Don't give up. Push. Remember who you are and who God says you are. You are God's anointed. You are God's child. You are God's beloved. And he gave his only son for you so that you could have the opportunity to know him better, to be more intimate with him, to spend eternity with him. So push. God is not through with you yet. God ain't done with me. And that is why today and every day, I will make the conscious decision to push. I want to share a scripture with you that came to me during my morning devotion, quiet time with God this morning. And I was so excited about it because I'm like, this is perfect. Like God, if there was a birthday scripture for you to give me right now, this is it. And it comes from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 and 19. And this is God speaking to the children of Israel. And he's reminding them about all that he has brought them through how he brought them through desert, how he saved them from slavery, how he provided for them when they were hungry, and how he led them when they had no sense of direction on where they were supposed to go, and how he created all of these things for them because he loved them. But then after God lists all of those things, he says, forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. What? Like, God, you did all of these things from you. You made all of these ways happen. You performed all of these miracles and you showed your divine love for me. And you're telling me, forget all that because it is nothing compared to what I am going to do. What? That got me excited. That got me excited because I'm like, okay, God, challenge accepted. Like, Go ahead then. Whatever you're going to do in this new year, I am here for 1000% of it all. Okay. (laughs) Eyes wide open and expectations. I am forgetting all of that. And I am expecting with gladness for what you are going to do. In verse 19, God says, for I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. God tells his people that he will make a pathway through the wilderness and create rivers in dry wasteland. So I'm taking that on for myself, okay? I know that he said this to the children of Israel, but this is God's promise to me, okay? Mark my words. (laughs) God is about to do something amazing in this next year that is going to be so miraculous. It's like seeing a river in the middle of the desert. Okay, he is about to do something new in my life and I am excited and I am claiming it and I'm deciding to push no matter what it looks like. I'm going to trust in what God says in his word for me and I'm going to push, push past my own doubts, my own fears, my own anxieties, whatever is holding me back, my own procrastinations, whatever it is, I'm going to push. I'm deciding to push because what God has for me, I can't stand in the way of that. I refuse to stand in the way of that. And I'm challenging you today to push right along with me. Hope you guys enjoyed this message. Love you guys.